Hello and welcome, Rangers, to the Zordon Files. I'm Joe, here with me is my co-host, Dan. Hello and greetings. Today we're going to have a rapid discussion about the Quasar Swords. This time we don't have anything really controversial to state, because the last few videos have been semi-controversial in some people's eyes. And, well, whoops. That said, the thing with the Quasar Swords is that each of them seem fairly powerful. And at first glance, they seem to be fairly equal at least in the first few episodes of the show of Lost Galaxies. It's quickly shown that Leo overtakes the skills of his peers and vastly surpasses them all. That said, the other Quasar Sword that over the course of the series wields pretty good power is the blue Quasar Sword. Even the pink gets a few moments, but primarily it's the red and blue ones which are really impressive. Yellow and green seem to be utterly worthless. That's the sad truth of it. I think the problem to an extent lies, yes, in some of the actors, and we'll get to that in a minute, but primarily it seems that the characters in universe, such as Maya, Damon, and Kendrix, do not seem to have the same force of will that Kai and Leo have. The Quasar Swords seem to be linked to the person's spirit. The stronger the spirit in the certain field that the color is strong in, so to speak, each color seems to represent something else in Power Rangers. We'll get into that in the future at some point. But the thing is, Leo is obviously the strongest, followed by Kai. But why is that? Well, as we said, stronger spirits. Whereas Damon, Maya, and Kendrix never really excelled. Kendrix rose a little above Damon and Maya, but she was a bit of a middling ranger in terms of capabilities. She was more of a scientist. Yes. And maybe some of the science got in the way because faith in herself was the problem because it was that's not a scientific concept to believe in yourself. Now, Kai had his logical side, but he's also the strongest spiritually. I'm not talking combat spirituality. I mean with visions and whatnot because he is the heir of the Guardian. As for Karone, she wasn't a particularly remarkable ranger either. Now, that said, Kai and Leo's abilities also seem to have grown in leaps and bounds over the course of the show with this is proof that these were spiritual morphers although that said i can't help but think that the lightspeed rescue morphers for example were stronger than kendrix damon and maya kendrix is a little above average damon and maya were below average damon never had any interest in being a ranger and he, he expressed it early on he was dragged along against his will exactly they should have had him just turn over the sword to mike yeah corbett could have really used that sword I think Mike Corbett could have actually taken the green sword and turned it into a badass sword, mm -hmm. as Leo and Kai had done. He probably would have caught up to Leo in power. Yes, the Quasar sword enhanced the Power Rangers' abilities, but to pull out the full potential of the swords requires the wielder himself to actually go above, break through his limits, or her limits. But the problem is... The yellow and green ones never excelled. There was a great opportunity lost, though, when Cassie did not end up being the one to wield the Quasar pink sword. She would have been really powerful with that thing. Yeah, I wish that was the direction they went in. But the fact of the matter is, they didn't. Now, the actors, as for Kendrick's actress, she had leukemia. Perfectly reasonable. But she did do a good job with her role. She was actually a pretty darn good actress. But for the internal explanation in-universe, well, you have to acknowledge that Kai and Leo were the special ones. And the ones who poured their all into it. Because there are episodes where they are caught training together. And they are trying to improve their skills in one field or another. Although Kendrick's did try to self-improve. Yeah. As a person and as a ranger. So maybe she could have become a great pink ranger had she been more motivated towards rangerhood but she wasn't she was a bit of a pacifist like trini so there's something to be said and commended about that kind of desire not to bring harm unto others and that kind of peacefulness that's all we've got for you today so do leave a like comment subscribe and until next time may the, the power, power protect, protect you, you.